our new goal is given a segment to be able to find points on that segment that divide into certain proportions. So we're going to start off with uh, just you know some basic examples, and we'll build to something that's more interesting here. But so let's imagine we have a uh, a couple of points that define a segment for us. Let's say that they're the points negative one, two, and three, four. So my goal to start off with is going to be able to find the uh, the point that's right in the middle between the two of them. So this is called the midpoint. Midpoint divides the segment into congruent segments. And so I'm trying to find the point that's exactly halfway between these two points. So let's just give it a rough sketch. So, you know, negative one, two, uh, let's see. We'll give us some axes to work on here. So if I had the point, you know, negative one, two, it's going to be roughly over here. And the point three, four is going to be, you know, up here someplace. And so I'm trying to find the point that's exactly halfway in between the two of them. And so uh, what we know from algebra is that if I want to find something that's exactly, you know, halfway between two things, that really sounds a lot like an average to me. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my two points, I'm going to average them. So if I have the point negative 1, 2, and 3, 4, if I think about this for a second, negative 1 and 3, you know, if I have this, this x distance here, I want to find what's exactly halfway in between them. If I average them, let's go ahead and do that. Negative 1 uh, plus 3 divided by 2 is going to give me the, the value of 1. And so 1 is exactly halfway between negative 1 and 3. It's 2 away from negative 1 and 2 away from uh, 3. And so what that means is that, you know, this point is going to be, you know, somewhere in this range. And so now I just need to find, let's look at the y values. If I average 2, let's go back to whatever color is in, 2 and 4, and I average them, well, I get 3. And so, you know, this is going to be the point that is, you know, somewhere in this range. And what I end up getting, if I divide both the x distance and the y distance in half, what I get is this point that is exactly halfway between them. So in this case, my midpoint between these two segments is the point 1 comma 3. So we can generalize this if we want to. We can generalize this to say that, well, given two points, given two points, Let's call them x1, y1, and x2, y2. The point that's going to be exactly halfway between them is going, which is called the midpoint, is going to be the average of the, the x and y coordinates. And so we have a formula here that we could write. You know, I'm generally not going to try and use a formula. I'm just going to think about what's going on. But I could generalize this to say that you know, this is the average of my x coordinates and then the average of my y coordinates. And this will give me the midpoint. The point is exactly halfway between these two values. So that's not too bad. Uh, let's look at something slightly more interesting then. What if, for example, go back to our idea of weighted averages. What if I want to find a point that is in between two others, but closer to one than it is the other? So let's talk about let's talk about the points. Uh, let's see. Let's go with negative six, negative two, and then my other point is going to be three, four. And so I'm trying to find the point that's between them. Not not exactly halfway between them, but I want to find the point that's actually twice as close, two times as close to this one as it is to this one. In other words. What I'm trying to do, so let's give this a uh, rough sketch, is uh, so negative 6, negative 2. Uh, well, let's just draw a point. So negative 6, negative 2 is going to be down here someplace. And then 3, 4 is going to be up here someplace. And so on this segment, you know, I could find the point that's exactly halfway between them, uh, but I don't want to. I want to find the point that's twice as close to one as the other. And so to do that, what I'm actually saying is that I want to divide this segment into, you know, kind of three chunks. This point right here is twice as close, twice as close to this point 
as it is to the other endpoint. So what I'm going to use is this sounds a lot like weighted averages. I'm going to do just that. If I want to find the point that is twice as close to this value here, I'm going to take a weighted average between these two endpoints with this point being the one that's double weighted. So I'll do exactly that. To find my new point, I will get, let's see, so I want to take 2 times negative 6 plus and then just 1 times 3. These are my two x values, negative 6 and 3. I'm double weighting the negative 6 and single weighting the 3. I'm dividing by how many parts I have total, which is 3 parts, 2 here and 1 here. My, This is my x value. My y value then will be the same thing. I'm going to double weight this point and then I'm going to single weight this other one here. So double weighted, single weighted. Those are my two y values. And again, I'm going to divide by three because there's three parts total. Two parts here, one part here. And what I'm going to end up finding is that the point that is twice as close to to this this uh, negative six negative two will be the point. Let's see, negative twelve plus three is negative nine. So negative three, comma, and then negative four plus four. So zero divided by three is zero. So the point negative three zero is that point that is twice as close to this endpoint as it is to this one over here. And so let's think about that for a second. Let's make sure that's that, that that's actually the case. Negative six, negative two, and this is three, four. So this distance here, my change in x, um, so my change in x, let's go a slightly different color, my change in x here is going from negative six to three. That's a change in total of nine units. Going from negative six to negative three, so right, here is a change of three units. And then going from, uh, let's see, negative three to three is a change of six units. So it is in fact twice as close, three to six. And I can do the same thing, I look at my y values here, same thing, uh, when I divide this, this point will be, so I'm talking about negative two going to zero, it's a difference of two, as opposed to zero going to four, the distance of four. So again, what I was able to do here was by double weighting this side, I can find the point that is twice as close. And so in fact, what I actually found was the point that divides this segment into one third and two thirds of the total. And if I wanted to, I could double weight the other one and find that other point. I could find the points that divide it in two thirds, which is a nice thing to be able to do. Let's look at, let's look at, well, we're going to, I think we're going to do two more examples. Let's get rid of this. So let's do the same thing, except for let's, uh, let's look at quarter points instead. So let's look at some points that divide a segment into uh, quarter chunks. So if I have the points, let's see, negative two, three, and 10, negative five. So just give us a rough sketch. I've got the point negative two, three here, and the point 10, negative five up here. And so what I want, what my goal is, my goal is to find the points that divide us into quarters. So uh, one of the points will be obviously right in the middle, and the other ones will be here and here. So my goal is to try and find three points that divide us into chunks. Four chunks are all the same same length. So let's just go ahead and, well, we'll find a couple of them. We'll, we'll find one and see how the other one's actually going to be pretty easy after that. So let's find this one first. So this is a point that is how much closer? It is three times as close to negative through two, three as it is to 10, negative five, because there are three segments here and one segment here is three times as close. So when I go to take this weighted average, I'm going to use that fact that I know it's three times as close to find that point. 
So let's start with my x values. I'm going to have negative 2, the x value, the point that I'm closer to, weighted by 3. I'm going to add that to my x value, the other point, weighted by 1. Now, how many parts do I have total? I've got three right here, and I've got one right here. So I've got four total parts. My y values, I'm going to take three and weight that by three, so that's that y value, and negative five, and weight that by one. And again, I have four parts total. So uh, when I do a little arithmetic here, I'm going to get, let's see, negative 6 plus 10, so 4, uh, divide by 4 is 1, and then I have 9 plus, uh, nah, so 4, and then divided by 4 is 1. Okay, so I get the point 1, 1. That's this one right here, point 1, 1. And so let's take a look at this. So that means I had to go over, let's see. I had to go over, maybe I should have done that a different color. Let's go back to y'all. I had to go over by three values, three units in the x direction. And then I had to go up, or I guess I've actually flipped these around. That's okay. Uh, I had to go down by negative two units. And so since all these distances are the same, I can actually save myself a little bit of time here. If I go over by three again, and then go down by negative two units, I'll get my next point, uh, which will be the point, let's see here, four comma negative one. I can do that again. I go over three and go down two. So three, negative two, and I get the point seven comma negative three. And I should be able to check this out if I go over three more and down two, I end up getting the point 10, negative five, which is exactly what I want. So this all made sense here because when I divide it into quarter points, what I was able to do is divide in the chunks that are all the same length. And so these distances between each should be the same each time. And so once I found that it was this first point here, the point one, one was three away in the x direction, and negative two away in the y direction, I can just add that successively to find my, my new points. Now, I could have taken more weighted average if I wanted to. I could have taken a weighted average, uh, kind of reversing what I did to find this point here. And this, of course, is just the midpoint. I could have found that one as well. No big deal. Okay, we're running a little bit long, a bit long but we're going to do just one more. Uh, so let's say if you get something a little bit, I don't know, slightly different. Let's say we get the points negative 3, 5. And the point 11, negative 2. Okay. And let's say I ask you to find for me the point that divides this segment in the ratio of 2 to 5. So this is slightly a little more challenging, but it's fine. I can still do this. It just requires a little bit of thought. So let's give a, a, a sketch again of what's going on. So if I have my segment, here's my segment. And then this is the point, let's see, negative 3, 5. And this is the point 11, negative 2. Well, so I'm trying to find the point somewhere on the segment that divides in the ratio 2 to 5. So two parts over here, five parts over here. So let's go ahead and just give a rough sketch where it's going to be. I'm going to say it's going to be right about here, where this is, you know, two units long whatever that ends up being, and this is five units long. All right, so how do I actually go about doing this? So if I want to you know, find the point that divides in the ratio of two to five, how can I do this? And of course, I'm gonna use weighted average again, and it's just a question of how I'm weighting it. So let's look at our x values first. I want to find the x coordinates. So I want it to be, well, if this is ratio two to five, I want to be, five times closer to this side than I do to the other side. And then, uh, or not five times, but you know, a ratio of you know, weighting it by five, I'm gonna rate, rate, or, uh, weight this side by two units. Because 
this is the you know the heavier side it's kind of like you know if you have a seesaw here well how do i weight this so that everything evens out well this needs to be a ratio of five and this needs to be a ratio of two over here so i'm going to do exactly that i'm going to take my x value negative three weight it by five then add it to my other x value over here weighted by two two times eleven and what i'm going to divide by is how many parts do i have well, I've got five parts here and two parts here, so that's seven parts total. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for my Y's. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna weight by five, a value of five. I'm gonna add to that negative two. All right, I guess I went the wrong direction again, oh well. Uh, and that's weighted by two. And again, I'm dividing this by seven because that's how many parts I have. And so when I do this, so this is negative 15, and 22, which comes out to be seven, so just one. And then this is a value 25 plus uh, negative four, so 21, so three. So this is the point, one comma three. And let's, let's check this to make sure this all worked out the way that I wanted to. So to get from negative three, five to one, three, I have to go over four and then up or down, negative two. And then to get from here to here, I need to go, so one, I have to go over 10. And then from three to negative two, I have to go down five. And so these ratios all end up working out. I wanted this in the ratio of two to five. Well, four to 10 is two to five. Negative two to negative five is two to five. So. Here's the big takeaway. I can use weighted averages to find points on a segment that divide into certain ratios. I can do things like this, where um, I'm given the ratio two to five. I can do things like this, where I was trying to find points that were a quarter of the way and then come up the ratio. So, you know, one to three or, or three to one. Uh, and then what was the first one I did? Oh, and when I weighted it just by you know double weighting one side, fo I found my, my points that divide into thirds. So I can always use my weighted averages. They help me find these, uh, these points that divide it into, or divide my segment into uh, chunks based on some ratio.